One of the goals of Gen 16 is to build a longer boat and still able to pack it into a smaller rectangular box for transportation. It's because I reused the core plust for my old boats and that limited to the final size to 14 inches thick. I tried to fit the package into the back seat of my car, but the width of 48 inches prevented me from closing the door of my car. I have no problem fitting that into the trunk with the back seat down. If I redo this boat again with new coil plist, I believe I can get down to 48 inches by 24 and about 6 to 8 inches thick. Folding it into a rectangular box for transportation should be more reliable than the method I used on Gen 12 because it eliminated the sharp folded corners. It's easier to fold that into a rectangular box also. However, the final folded size is slightly bigger. I used the two 10 feet long, half inch in diameter PVC pipes. This seemed to be strong enough for what I need. I could have used the three quarter inch diameter pipes, but this will add extra weight to the canoe. The configuration of the canoe you see here weighs 30 pounds and 4 ounces. I could make it 2 pounds lighter if I change the design of the seats and the floor. I reused the floor from my old boat. It is made from a 2 inches thick closed cell phone, the pink one. It will provide some buoyancy if the canoe flips over. I used the PVC pipe to make the cross beam and I will provide more details about how this is being done in my next video. I used a lashing to hold this cross beam in place. I also used two lashings to hold the bow and the stern together. This is the same as my Gen 12 14 and 15 bolts. The positions of the seats and the floor can be reconfigured easily and I will determine the best locations for all this in my water test. The width of the canoe at the center is around 32 to 33 inches. I have over tightened the center lashing in this assembly. In this example, it took me about 10 minutes to complete the assembly. It is very easy to pack up the boat. In the future, I will consider designing a pair of plastic latches to close the canoe instead of using two orange lashings. With that, I should be able to finish this final folding step in four minutes. Now, it took me six minutes. Another problem is the PVC pipes are a bit too long. And I will consider redesigning the folding of the canoe and keep a section of the PVC pipe permanently mounted onto the gunnel so that the removable pipes can be a four feet long. The last few days have been rainy and windy. I probably will be able to test this canoe next week. I expect the canoe will work well. We'll update you on the test results soon. Again, thanks for your support and subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, please do, so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.